Mm. Now my neighbors can see me. <laughs> Hi YouTube, I'm Christine and in this video I'll be talking about Cramathon, um, the books I'll be reading for July, and how I'm doing in NaNoWriMo. During Cramathon I was really busy, I had an interview, and I was out shopping with my mom, and then I was out watching movies, and then I literally didn't participate in anything until the last day, and by then people were already done with their Cramathon reads, and there weren't that much sprints left, and so I just finished three books. <laughs> The first book I'm going to mention wasn't in my previous video, but I decided to read Gardens in the Dunes by Leslie Marmon Silco. Um, I was required to read this for my Native American Studies class back in university, and I was a bad student because I never finished it, and I had 100 pages left, so I was like, oh, I might as well go read it. So Gardens in the Dunes is about a story about two sisters, Indigo and Sister Salt and their journey to meet up again after they're separated um, and also to find their mom, but... SPOILERS! <laughs> um, not only that, but a lot of themes are interwoven like Indigo on her journey back home, she meets up with this couple um, and they're kind of bad and you should just read it because it's so good, so good! And only the only bad thing about it would have probably been my class experience reading the book because um, the class met every Tuesday and Thursday and the professor made us read like 100 pages before each class lecture. On the Thursday lectures I would have been really swamped because that meant I would have had to read 100 pages in two days while I still had other classes and like 10 pages alone takes me one hour because so much happens and like it goes through so many other people's perspectives and points of views and I'm just like, ah! Next up on my list was Gaku and Alice by Tachi, Tachi Bara Higuchi. Um, as I said in my previous video, it's about Mikan um, going to find her best friend because she transferred to another university and it's Gaku and Alice and she, then she figures out that everyone there has special powers and it's just really dark. I didn't think it would have been so dark because it was a child's, like a children's anime when I was first watching the anime, like when it came out. And I forgot how sad these books were, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, the series, the manga series kept going for 10 years and so I stopped um, because nothing was happening, it was just this stupid arc and so when I, when I, for, when I finally was able to get back into it, I, I forgot how sad and dark it was because all the teachers were like, I can't tell you what's happening right now, you'll just have to trust me and then no one knows of Mikan's past and then they can't contact their parents and it's just so sad. Ah! <laughs> But it's, it's a very good series. Now I'm picking it up again. I hate I hate myself. <laughs> so yeah, even though this is rated T for teens, well, actually it's rated like age 13 plus, so that might be like pre teens. I'm gonna consider this a children's book because I thought it was a children's book when I first read it, like when it first came out. <laughs> um, unfortunately, these three books were the only ones I read. But I did read them within the 24 hour span. I read all of them, like, as Cramathon was finishing on the last day. Because that was the only free time I've ha I had. Um, so yeah, read a children's book, done. Read a graphic novel, done. That's kind of it. Wait, no? Oh, and read two books in 24 hours. Three out of seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now for the rest of July, I don't think I'll be able to read more books because I'm currently participating in Camp NaNoWriMo and that's um, basically like the regular NaNoWriMo where you write 50,000 words in one month but for this one you can just pick your own word goal and I'm behind on it! <laughs> right now I'm probably at 3,000 words below word count. I'm just like, eh, I can't keep up anymore. And everyone in my camp is giving up. <laughs> Nothing's going well anymore for my characters. And so then, um, that's my update on NaNoWriMo, by the way. 
So because of that, I won't be able to read much these next two weeks. I think it's two weeks. Um, but I've already picked up Maggie Steve Otter's The Raven Boys. I'm kind of behind. I know I'm late. I'm late. Lily, 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 Lily's already out. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but my friend gave it to me because I didn't want to buy my old book. And so then uh, I, I have to give it back to her soon. So hopefully I can finish this. For those don't know, that don't know about The Raven Boys Quartet. You should know, okay. And then I couldn't help myself because Harper Lee already came out with Ghost Head of Watchman and I was like, I need to read it because it's Harper Lee and I need to find out about Alex Finch and then blah, blah, blah. And that's why I chose to get Harper Lee's new book, Ghost Head of Watchman, instead of Ernest Klein's newest book. They came out on the same day. I couldn't buy both books. I wasn't gonna read both of them at the same time. I can hardly read now. Ah! But yeah, that's it for me now. Hopefully, next video, it'll be more positive and I would have at least finished more books or at least caught up with my writing goal. Okay, bye. <laughs>